name's Jason, I'm a registered polysomnographic technologist or a sleep tech, and I'm going to show you how to change the settings on this guy. It is the uh, Omnilab Advanced. This is a clinical unit. So this is for you technologists who want to know how to change the pressure in the room with your patient so you don't have to run back and forth from the patient room to the lab room because in my lab, it's a pretty So these track. are the older units. Uh, as you know, there, or as you may not know, there are newer units that you can get in the, in the uh, clinical setting. And uh, right now the name escapes me, but you know what? If you still have these, you don't need to know the name anyway, because you're working with this. So this is the type of machine that you would see in a sleep lab setting. And so this is more or less for technologists. Um, typically this machine is controlled using the PC Direct. And so uh, I know in my lab, it's um, a pretty good trek to go change the pressure. So if you're with, with the patient and you need to change the pressure uh, instead of running all the way back into the room to change it, um, you can go ahead and do it in the room, setting it up with these steps. So to access the clinician's menu, otherwise right now it does nothing. You can see when I turn it on, um, it's set on nine centimeters of water pressure, just straight CPAP. I'm going to cover the hole so it's not making sound. So we want to turn that off. And so to access it, we're going to push on the right arrow and the silence button. Just push and hold for about three seconds or less. Um, now you can see it's set for CPAP. So up or down is going to toggle it to um, the next uh, pressure, I'm sorry, the next therapy mode. So we have CPAP. S is obviously is spontaneous bi-level, um, spontaneous time bi-level, time bi-level. Um, PC is pressure control, so that's uh, where you would access um, AVAPs or um, average volume assured pressure support. Um, those are for your COPD, your neuro neuro <laughs> neuromuscular disorder patients like ALS. And then we have auto SV. So I don't know what your, what your lab protocols are, but typically auto SV, um, uh, pressure control for AVAPs, uh, things like that are going to, you need a physician's order for even the timed BiPAP mode. You likely need a physician's order. Like you'll know right off the bat, that's what you're doing. Um, so since we're in CPAP mode, we'll go ahead and go to say, um, spontaneous mode for bi-level. Um, so to do that, once it's um, highlighted and blinking, you're going to push on the right arrow and that'll take you to the, the setup. So you can go back and forth within here, um, but right here um, you see that it's EPAP. So what we're doing is we're setting the EPAP setting. Um, so you go up or down. So if you want to start the patient on uh, 16 over 8, and we're going to do our over 8. So there's the 8. Next is IPAP. We're going to go 16 or whatever you want. Um, actually, if you're probably in the room with the patient, it might be less than that, but this is how you do it. Uh, move on. If you want to use Biflex, you up or down and use that. Advance. So you have your rise time setting. Again, up or down. You can set the ramp. I don't know why you do a ramp in a lab setting, but there you go. Um, that's for alarms, alarms, minute ventilation you can change. And then when you get out into the hours uh, in the light, you have gone all the way through. And what that means is when you turn the machine on, it's going to hold those settings. So you can see we turn it on, and we have IPAP 16, EPAP 8, so we are on bi-level. So let's pretend like your patient hates it. I'm going to turn, turn it off by hitting on the side here, and then we're going to need to get into that menu again. And so now let's take the patient to, uh, let's give them a try on auto SV. So we're going to toggle with auto SV. Hit the right hand button and it goes right into setting it up. So this is a typical setting, but if for some reason the doctor wanted a lower pressure, that's how you do it. Advance to uh, EPAP min, EPAP max, pressure support, you know, whatever you want. Usually pressure support minimum is like, um, like four or something. Pressure support max is typically as high as it would go set to auto or you can set it to breast per minute but it's called an auto SV for a reason so auto 
then you have your flex settings, rise time, again, all that stuff. It's kind of accounted for in it being an auto SV. So like I said, once you toggle through all the way, you go ahead and turn it on. And you can see down here that all the settings have stuck. So, all right, so let's pretend like your patient is just saying, you know what, I really like just straight CPAP. You're going to turn it off, and again, we enter these settings. I'm sorry, push it on the uh, right butt arrow and the silence button, and we're just going to get them right back to CPAP because we like CPAP. So they, they're having a hard time, so they want to try it on like four or something. Toggle all the way through, turn it on again, and you see that the settings have stuck, CPAP at four. And there you go. Uh, that's it. It's as easy as that. Uh, so now you don't have to run back and forth to your room, the patient's room in the lab area. Um, it really just takes a second, but uh, if you do any missteps on that, it will kick you right back out. All right, hopefully that has helped you out. You can, you can see it's pretty simple to do it. Um, just change the pressure, change the settings on the machine with the patient right there. The beats running back and forth from the room to the deck area. Um, there it is. Thank you.